Hi again, fans, and welcome to another edition of Puckopolis. A special guest joining us is he is the new assistant coach for the Cincinnati Cyclones. It is former NHLer, 16-year veteran Andrew Castles. Cass, welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team. How's everything? Very good. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's obviously, this is a busy time for every coach. Uh, Jared has been busy over the last few weeks, uh, actually uh, almost a couple of months now, as it's been kind of getting things ready for the next season. We'll get to that and your role on this in a minute, but uh, take me back to your, your playing career. You had a long, long decade and a half career. What do you remember most about it? Uh, how fast it went. Um, you know, it seems like yesterday I was playing my first game uh, in the Montreal Forum, the old forum. Played in a lot of old rinks and got to play in the new rinks and it's just, you know, it's a lot of fun and you, know, you got to cherish every moment because it does go by very fast. One of the things that makes this guy relatively unique is he is the only player in NHL history to have two goals that were recorded after a slap shot hit off of his face and into the net. Now, obviously, it's, it's one thing to see that stat. It's another thing to confirm that stat. Did that actually happen? Yes, it did. And uh, <laughs> I remember both of them. They both hurt quite a bit, uh, but, you know, got through and... Uh, Finished the game in one, didn't finish the game in the other, but I uh, came back quickly after the second one. So now that you have, have kind of made your way into the, the coaching side of things, uh, I guess go go back maybe a year, two years, wh whenever it was, when did you decide that you wanted to, to kind of become a coach and get into that aspect of it? Because some players, once they leave the game, they kind of just they like to be away from it. What made you want to come back? I think uh, coaching my older son. Um, you know, he's 16 now, but coached him for the last five years and really found a passion after the game of you know playing at a high intensity to be able to teach and, and show some kids what I learned along the way. And you can only coach you know 12 and 13 year olds so much until you run out of things to coach that they can handle. So I really want to get back into the professional game and, and you know fortunately uh, made a phone call to Jared and talked to him and you know we, we knew each other from, from other friends and stuff and we got along really well and hopefully it's going to work out really well for both of us. What kind of things did he talk to you about when he tried to sell you on the job as much as I'm sure you were trying to sell yourself to him? Uh, you know, obviously it's uh, it's a good hockey town, Cincinnati, uh, great ownership, great building, um, not far from the Columbus area where you know I reside with my family and um, you know, Jared was a very well respected player, you know, from playing in Europe to the NHL to the American Hockey League, he's got tons of experience and I think I can learn a lot from him. What kind of things are you going to focus on? Obviously the role of an assistant coach tends to be to look at the defense. You played forward in your career. What kind of things are, are you going to bring to the table that will help Jared and also help the team as well? I think you know, working with the defense, obviously I was more trying to beat defense and I think I'm going to be able to bring that and try to teach those kids um, how to defend against certain things. And, you know, the power play, I think we both were power play guys, so we're going to have a lot of fun with trying to come up with some new ideas on the power play. Well, we're happy to have you along, and uh, we wish you the best of luck throughout the course of the season. The new assistant coach of the Cincinnati Cyclones, Andrew Castles. This is Puckopolis.